four, three, two, one. That was better. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're good now? Yeah. God. I love okay. that. I'm keeping that as a bit. Nobody, nobody, okay. Can we agree? I will do the count offs. Let's not have any of that shit ever again. I'll do the count offs. Just leave it the fuck alone. Let me do it. Oh, I like God. I like I like Nick's idea. He's better right. than I am. Okay. So let's start. Hi, welcome everyone to our first podcast. Welcome to our first cutoff of the podcast. My name is. <laughs> my this name might is be Discord. the first to hear of us, unless Stephen decides to keep keep in the previous bit of us fucking up. You know, I might. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I might. I, actually, no. Fuck you. I'm gonna do it. Also, I'm gonna adjust my microphone. That way, it sounds way different. That way, leveling it is a lot harder on me. Anyways, hello. Oh, so first off, before we continue, um, can you guys hear my chair creaking? Yes. <laughs> Shit. It doesn't matter if we hear it. Does Audacity actually wait? If we hear it, then Audacity is definitely picking it up. I'm gonna try this. Keep an eye on your levels, you cunt. I'm sorry. Okay, is this fine? That's fine. Okay, good. If you create that fucking chair, I'm gonna. I'm blow sorry. You. It creaks even if I move a little bit. It's really shitty. Okay, I'm sorry. Sit on a bean bag. I don't have a bean bag. Sit on this dick. <laughs> um. First off, I have a top, so I don't do that. Uh, heads up, libtard. If you're a top, then that means you would be sitting on top of my dick. So how about that, you little bitch, little 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 bitch. <clears throat> Anyways, so introductions. Who wants to go first? Uh, I guess how about go you, f- bottom bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said, how about you, bottom bitch? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fucking bottom, you bitch. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna start since y'all are um, fucking power play role playing up in this podcast. <laughs> so, hello, my name is Steven. I am a third of the podcast. I handle all of the production, um, basically making the videos not look like shit. And making the audio not sound like shit. Making her jokes land through editing. Yes, Good of luck. course. <laughs> quote, quote, land. Quote, unquote, land. And um, I think that um, gamers are the oppressed people. And I feel like E3 has really shown that. <laughs> um, it, I, editing can't save that fucking joke. All right, moving on. Yeah, you're going to cut next? it out. Actually, uh... Uh, I feel like uh, Nick is the true top of the group, so he needs to go next. Look at him. He, do, you, do you think he's a top? He's a top as fuck, bro. I will not claim anything of the sort, Nick. I make music sometimes. When I need to, mostly. I, when um, we tell him to. <laughs> I believe that gamers are the most oppressed minority on the entire face of this planet Earth. I believe that E3 was a demonstration that corporations are attempting to oppress gamers by infiltrating our societies. As if it weren't enough that we already live in a society, they try and infiltrate our own that we built from the ground up. Gabe Newell will not stand for this. All right. Uh, That's about it. That's beautiful. Yeah, I I beam around. That's that's about it. Yo, sup, ladies? Um, Oh my God, (laughs) redo your fucking intro, (laughs) Jesus. Okay, you're right. That wasn't inclusive enough. All right. Sup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Luis. Um, as Steven has called me before, I'm the director. Um, I don't personally believe that, but it's flattering, so I'll stick with it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> some fucking director. <laughs> <laughs> Is my coughing really bad? It's whatever. I'll, it'll all be leveled, and I'll kill myself, but that's fine. Okay, I'll try to stop now. With the coughing. Just anyway, stop, also stop fucking coughing. I'm also so okay. stop interrupting our podcast with trying to ask if your stuff is okay behind the scenes shit. Just wait for after. Just do the podcast right now. Okay, fine. I'll stop. All right. So um take I guess quote unquote director. I do the channel art and um I'm working on scripts right now for us. Quote unquote. That's where the real quote unquote needs to come through, sir. Well, You'll see soon enough, my friend. And um, I think I agree with them with gamers. Um, I don't have any bit for this, sorry. Can you specify what exactly you agree with? I feel the, the disgusting part is how they, they, they infiltrate society, but they still try to appeal with us. Fucking Phil... What's his fucking name again? Phil Spencer? Yeah, he's a gamer 
48 times during his presentation. <laughs> Somebody counted? That's incredible. Yeah. I think I saw a comp- compilation the other day where it's just him going like, gamer, gamer, gamers, gamer. And I love how he started the entire thing with gaming. <laughs> I'll admit, the, the only things I saw from E3 are actually, um I saw Bethesda. I didn't see the cute lady. I saw um, the only thing I cared about was uh, Devolver Digital because they always have the best panels. Yeah, and, I got to see um, Devolver Digital so for good. the first time. That was that um, was incredible. Yeah, and uh, I also watched Square because I really like Final Fantasy, and that's about it. I watched uh, Bethesda just because it was going to be a shit show, <laughs> which, <laughs> and you were right, except for the the part with the cute lady, so wholesome. Some of the some of the new titles that they announced. I mean, not specifically. Well, you know, like Bethesda Elder Burl, Scrolls suit. Blades on no, Switch. No, no, no. <laughs> no like the new stuff. The, Steve, the, uh, sounded, for a second there, it sounded like you said Elder Bros. And you like, know, and that I just, almost did. <laughs> that's just they like, had, they, uh, Bethesda, like, they, they're producing like two new IPs, aren't they? I, I, uh, I, I don't know if I'm misremembering, but I'm pretty sure there was one that looks kind I of think interesting. The think Outer Worlds, them. I think, was the one you were talking about. No, that's that's um fuck what's their name um the ones ah, that arcane arcane obsidian. No, not arcane obsidian it's obsidian okay obsidian. that's not bethesda i think nick's talking i don't think they're p- producing it i think they're publishing it because i think there's other developers that were doing it yeah yeah i think you're talking but, about like, death was death one of them yeah yeah death something that uh, one looked death cool. stranding no, that's no that's not them what the fuck am i that's kojima i'm stupid i was i was about to say come on man. <laughs> wow so such gamers we are Honestly, like the only games I literally care about are um, the Final Fantasy VII remake and Doom Eternal. Bro, Doom Eternal, oh fuck, it looks I, so I need, good. I need to play through the first one. Damn it, I keep forgetting. I need to finish the first one because uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not uh, a proper gamer um, because I haven't finished the remake of Doom. I've played all the originals. You're not a real gamer unless you play Doom on a TI-84. Not a real gamer unless you. Appease woman. <laughs> You're not a real gamer unless you wear like a wife beater that says gamer on it. <laughs> no, it's gonna say like what, what's the shirt? What's the fucking shirt like? Sl- sleep. I'm about gaming. to level. No, I'm about to level up. And you, <laughs> and look you look like just, like, enough, just XP. enough XP. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. There's there's a dude. There's a dude that came into the store yesterday that had a shirt. It it, it, it was um ah what was it? Damn it. It was like, um, it was one of those, like, it was a grown ass man. And it was one of those, um, like anti-sister gamer shirts. You know what I'm talking about? Oh what? God. Seriously? It was a grown ass dude. And I tried so <laughs> hard not to bust out laughing. Dude. I, oh, it was so good. Dude, I saw a guy like that the other day that was even wackier. He was wearing like, again, one of those gamer shirts, but like he had like fucking mutton chops. But like, oh, but the thing is, they look like you know whenever you pull on cotton candy, and it's just, yeah, it looks like oh, like some man. and like like the middle part where like it's kind of shaved, it it was patchy, like it wasn't fully shaved. It was like like peach fuzz, and like someone looks like someone just yanked on his button chops. It's like Jesus Christ, he touches children. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Ugh. Motherfucker got con candy mutton chops. He touches candy. I'm keeping I mean, my daughter away from him. Do you, wait, you have a daughter? Damn. No, I have three, and they're all bastard children. But we're not going to talk about that on here, okay? I don't. I don't want to discuss my shit. Okay. All right. I appreciate. Was it, it your ex? Which one? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> one for each ex. Camp off the the conversation. Like it's on my end. Like the only thing I was interested in, because like everything else I was interested in has already like been talked about or revealed. So I was just like, I wanted to see the new Smash character, and I really wanted Steve so fucking bad. It doesn't make any sense. No, it does make sense. No, Steven, I'll disagree with you. Steve made sense. I could see him actually being announced, but I wasn't surprised when he wasn't announced. I'll say that much. Uh, no, no. It's mm-hmm. kind of sad. Like, look at okay. it. Look at how, it this how, does way. it how does it make sense? Microsoft owned, right? That's one thing. And Microsoft has some items on the uh, on the Switch, right? Including Minecraft. Minecraft has been ported to the Switch, and um, I think honestly, we've seen we've seen games get announced to um, to uh, to Smash for less, right? I mean, 
I think I think uh, Luis has also made the point of like trying to argue that um, who was it? Who was the other person you were arguing for that um, Bayonetta was part of your argument? Oh, um, Doom Guy, and I think we're all in the oh, yeah. for Doom Guy. No, I, uh, I still don't think that Doom Guy would be announced. I'll no. say that much, but I can see that argument. No, can I say something about all that? What? Yeah, about Steve, I guess. Mm, yeah, so. My argument that why it doesn't make any sense is because whether I feel like every single Smash character um, that has been on Smash has something related with like something close knit at the very least with Nintendo or at least more so than Steve. Right. Because, for example, a lot of people will say that, oh, you know, like uh, pers- the Joker was announced for Smash and he has nothing to do with Nintendo. I just disagree a lot actually because the original persona games were on the super famicom um if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong editor's note i definitely was mistaken the original shin megami tensei games were released on the famicom and the super famicom however the first persona game was actually released on the playstation 1 i'm stupid lo siento and good night that was actually in celebration of a new Persona release, not a port, a release on the 3DS where they remade Persona 5 and Chibi for some reason. Um, but that was a huge announcement for the Persona games, so it made sense to have him ported to um, Smash. I'll, I'll point out your your point about um, announcing for Nintendo consoles. That's one of that's part of our arguments for some things, and also. My counterpoint for your example would be um, announcing uh, announcing Sonic and announcing Snake for Brawl. Those okay. came out completely out of left field because they weren't entirely Nintendo related. They weren't Nintendo related at all. Right? Not exactly true. First off, um, I feel like porting Sonic like back in I thought was, that was uh, okay. That Actually, was, that was Brawl, I'll take, right? Yeah, I'll port- take back port- my point porting- because. Porting Sonic was perfect because um, the Sonic, yeah, exactly, the rivalry in the beginning, right? That had a lot of do, to do with Nintendo's growth. Yeah, what about Snake, though? Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Do you know what that is? Yeah, I know. It's the remake of the first Solid game. It was exclusively on the GameCube. So, yeah, that's where that's where Snake's relevance uh, comes in with okay. Brawl. I, I had no idea it was an exclusive. I'm pretty sure it's not exclusive nowadays. I think no, you can get Twin it's been, it's been on- ported now, but originally um it pulled a resident evil 4 um where it was originally exclusively to gamecube i'm gonna fact check myself real quick no that sounds right i remember going over to my neighbor's house and watching him play uh play resident evil 4 on his gamecube all the time um, and i'm fact checking myself on twin snakes uh yes it was originally i think it's actually still exclusive to the gamecube except for um technically the Metal Gear Solid, um, the Legacy Collection, uh, the first Metal Gear game that they showed was just a remake of the Twin Snakes. I remember back when I got, um, I, I bought two, three, and four. No, not four. I bought two, three, and something, um, what was it? Um, We're getting a bit off topic. You're right. <laughs> That's a good point. I, let's <laughs> talk about this another time. Yeah. Normally, I try not to interrupt, but like, if I feel I don't, I haven't talked in minutes, I'm gonna be like, mm, guys. Yeah, you you were right. We we were getting off topic. That was just. Yeah, I'll we'll see. I'll see that with I guess Doom guy. I personally, I feel part of the reason I think he should be, and he just seems like the granddaddy of games. You know, he's one of the first like 3D games. When you think about it, what characters, like, huge icons are there left to put in Smash right now? He made a point before in that uh, Doom essentially started, like, as far as, like, legacy, like, clout, right? Doom was one of the first, if not the first, like, FPS shooter, it, first-person shooters, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, I think, like, I get your point, Stephen, on, like, the partnership with Nintendo, but if Nintendo wants to, like, go, like, straight for, like, what's, like the biggest character we could probably put in right now. A couple of corrections that I want to make for both of y'all. Mm-hmm. First off, Doom was not anywhere near the first first person shooter ever made. Why not? But technically that crown goes to Wolfenstein and even that's technically incorrect. That's dependent. Uh there was a game that it developed earlier on I think it's like something maze um 
that was more so of a tech demo, but it was commercially released. So a lot of people will point to that and say that that's the first first person shooter and I'd agree. Second, I feel like the reason why Minecraft Steve specifically doesn't work um, is because Minecraft is definitely a PC icon rather than a console icon. Um, yes, it's been ported everywhere now, but um, I feel like uh, Minecraft Steve is more so associated with the PC community than anything else. And third, um, I think Doomed Guy is a great choice. I th so I'll say this. I think Steve has a chance making it in the next game. I feel maybe in the next game, I, I don't know, I got a feeling Nintendo might actually like try adding PC game stuff on there too, but like classics. If that were the case, I would definitely be surprised because I know how Nintendo is. I agree with Steven. The thing is though, like they're really like, like what's the, and I wouldn't say you give all the branches, but like it gets made peace with a lot of people for like la for this, for ultimate. Cause like getting Snake back must've been a fucking hassle with them. Cause I think there was a reason why Snake didn't come back in the other games. And I think it's cause of Konami. And not only that, but they also got both of the Belmonts in Smash. Wait, they, they got both of the Belmonts? Yeah. So, like, and then people, some game developers have actually, like, not begged, but, like, you know, asked Nintendo really badly about pos about the chances of their character being in Smash. Because I think the Cuphead de developers really wanted a Cuphead in Smash. Of course, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they knew it was unlikely, but, like, I think they said they would love it for that. Side note, I have I don't play Smash at all. Yeah, we gathered that. <laughs> I rarely. I mean, I only own Brawl and I never really play that, so yeah. So, I was gonna say, let's talk about Keanu, but like, everyone's talked Keanu. Actually, one thing, like, Keanu, I'm just gonna bring up that meme. The fucking monster meme? Yeah. I swear <laughs> to fucking the, it's, it's an image of Keanu Reeves, like, from the shot of the trailer, where he's like, we gotta sedate the burn, kid. But instead, he's like, offering him like a monster energy trick. And I'm just, like, when I first thought, I'm like, <laughs> shit. That's Has Steven. somebody made a Sprite Cranberry edit of that? <laughs> <laughs> I realize that meme is dead by like a couple years, but but like Lu uh, Luis, why do you have to compare that to me? I look bad. I'm just. I just feel like Am I'm I know the only person you know that drinks Monster Energy drinks. Um, honestly, yeah. It's better than drinking that unicorn piss. That's to be saying. fucking honest, unicorn piss. Ra have you have you not had rain, Bruh, Like. I lived in the desert. How do you think I'm gonna get any rain? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he means <laughs> rain as in a king's rain. So it's a brand of energy drink. Oh, yeah, it's a brand of energy drink, and whenever you drink it, it tastes like it tastes like chemicals and sadness and the unicorn piss. Isn't that what monster tastes like? Not the ones I drink. Because you drink the tea. Yeah, I drink the tea. So it tastes yeah, like tea with be hipster chemicals. Scum. Exactly. Which What's is why I'm not a fucking about tea? boomer. <laughs> What is hipster about tea? It's not tea itself, but the fact that I it's drink drinking. the tea monster. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's pretty fucking hipster. But I only drink it because it tastes good. It's like the whole like thing. No, you like, drink like, it because you have a caffeine addiction. Okay, if your fair. piss tasted good, would you drink it? Yes. Anyway, so continuing on, like it's kind of the whole stigma that like fruity alcoholic drinks has. Like I, I, I drink yeah. them because they taste good. I also think yeah. whiskey tastes good. Fuck off. Yeah, God. I agree. Have you all tasted? Uh, I've had the, have y'all, by the way, mimosa? uh, just legal disclosure, we're all 21. Continue. <laughs> no. Have y'all had a mimosa before? Yes. I've had one too many mimosas. <laughs> I've, have y'all had a mojito? Cause I, I recently tried both of those things and, uh, yeah. what, what flavor of mojito specifically? Uh, just standard, sta bog standard, like, uh, minty mojito. Bro, I, I need to try more shit, more what I drink regularly. It's just fucking just beer and hard cider i need to try more shit please do i mean i just don't it's kind of hard for me right now because like i don't got the money and like i'd buy you beer but i'm totally 21 guys there's no problem with me buying you beer <laughs> i pity you let's segue away from this because i don't want to get any legal troubles oh, we're gonna yeah. page peel transition out of this yeah. topic god damn it you took the words out of my mouth you tried to explain yourself before about why you would rather get shot in the head than do page peel transition, but it's still the, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, like, okay. So for, um, for background, so for any, any viewers out there hearing this, 
Um, the reason Steven is, is going to get really pissed off right now is because sin ever since he started editing the first vlog, Nick and I have been pestering him about adding just one single page peel transition in the middle of but the it video. Looks so awful. <laughs> That's the whole joke. And we're like, and okay, like, it okay, <clears throat> continue. It pisses him so I'm much trying that, to like, hold up back my anger. <laughs> every, so like, we just like mention it to him every so often because we know it's going to get a response from him. But here's the thing, like, I know people. Okay, I don't know people because I don't associate with these freaks, but I have seen like projects where they use the page peel transition unironically. And I'm just sitting here like, even ironically, it looks so terrible. It is, in my opinion, the page peel transition is the worst looking transition in all of Premiere. Is it really as bad like that one transition where it like the screen shrinks and then just flies away and behind it is Honestly, the next shot? Honestly, that transition shot? looks slightly better. Okay, can we can we stop for a moment? You see the link that I sent you just now, right? Uh, let me see it. Which one is it? Oh my god, that video. Yeah. Just um, it's just, gonna. Should we put it in the description when this is up? Yeah, put it yeah, in the sure. description. Okay, uh, whoever uploads this, don't forget to put this on there. It's yeah, gonna be me. I'll, I'll go ahead and pin this. Oh, here, on, just watch. Just Stop watch it. it. I hate it. You hate that. You I hate, hate that. that. It's beautiful. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's like the perfect transition for that moment. It's not even a transition. It's just a fuck. It's, it's just a gaff. It's a little goof. What's wrong with that, Steven? I think you're just hateful. You're a hateful person and you're going to hell. I mean, he's a gamer. Oh, that's right. Because you're a gamer, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna get sent to the eighth circle in hell for gamers only. All it is is just like an underpowered PC inside of an empty room. <laughs> hell, when hell is for gamers, you're stuck in like a small room, it's hot and damp, and like your, your compu computer's fans don't work well. So your computer shuts off every few minutes because it overheats. So, and, but the only games you can play are like games like Doom and and like oh, what's a really graphically intensive game. Doom, honestly, Doom is so well optimized. It can hardly be classified as like graphically intensive. It's unbelievable, but it's a Bethesda game. Oh my god! I know. No, right? you have to like play. You have to like play Fallout Four with like hundreds of mods. No, you have to play Fallout 76 for any period oh my of time. <laughs> Just in general, you have to play Fallout 76. <laughs> yep, and, and no, you have to put on their new Battle Royale mode. And oh like, god! And you have to get like a hundred, like win a hundred games to get out of hell. But like, since your your room's too hot, it shuts off every few minutes. You so have to get the so that's more so purgatory. Wait, 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 wait! This is hell for gamers. You are stuck in a subway train full of people going to a gaming convention but everyone in there is, black. is on their phones playing <laughs> mobile games oh my and they're God. like wow i'm so excited to go to this convention and inside of the train is exclusively black people and women <laughs> <laughs> they're all talking about how excited they are and you your your computer just got fucking busted because you loaded one too many lewd mods on Fallout 4 <laughs> and it bricked your computer so you have to go get that repaired you have to drop a thousand dollars on a new fucking vr ready computer so hi welcome back we don't need to go like oh welcome yeah. back our audio cut out even yeah. though we can fix I it mean, in editing blah 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 like no. you don't need to say anything we just fix it in anything Ed, and it, editing. How we st how we started back up then? Hi, we we're back from a cut. My, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Guys, 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 you're forgetting something. We need to page peel transition yes! out of this dilemma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for acknowledging. I have the biggest headache. How did OJ like, kill his wife? <laughs> oh my God, OJ Simpson. Yes, I have <laughs> not seen this. Knife? I need to see look this right up, now. Okay, so oh. OJ system. Oh, OJ system. OJ Sims. OJ, that's what his computer runs on. His OJ um operating system. Oh, it's the he OJ killed OJ. his ex-wife. Yeah, and it was. I she mean, was like, found stabbed. I'm pretty sure I typed O in Twitter, and the first thing that that it says is um OJ Simpson. His fucking Twitter handle. What was it? OJ Simpson, like thirty six or something. Yeah, nineteen sixty eight Heinzman winner, nineteen seventy three NFL MLP, proud father, enjoying a new chapter in life. After I killed my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> now, dude, there's a parody account that's already been made where it looks exactly the same. and But instead, it just says, like, for his description, it says, I killed my wife. Killer, you got the wrong guy. My only crime I was convicted of was trying to get my shit back. 
Oh, is he reacting to haters? Yes, he is. Oh. Happy Father's Day to my friend and our president at real Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't owe anybody money. Dot, 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 sorta. <laughs> That's something I would say. He's been uploading videos on his Twitter for some reason. One of the first ones, like he's talking about what he's gonna do now. And during one point, he's like, yeah, I've got some getting back at people or whatever. It's like, getting back at people? What the fuck? I freaking quote, quote tweeted him. Let me see. Was it his happy Father's Day to my friend and our president, yes. real Donald Trump? I like how Donald Trump has to specify he's the real one, as if being Twitter verified isn't good enough. It's probably because somebody took Donald Trump as the as a that's, Twitter handle. That's that's usually why people do like at the real blank is because like, yeah, but he's a the fucking president. Shit. You don't need that. You don't need a Twitter. <laughs> yeah, honestly, please. To Would you honest, say that to Obama? Yeah, Obama yeah. had a Twitter. No, no president needs Twitter. Like, imagine if Obama tweeted like Trump does. LOL. I just got done plowing Michelle. If you could have sex with Obama, would you? No. What if Obama did the Ted, Ted Cruz meme, but it was just a sex tape with his wife? Oh, no, no, no. It was like one of those like, um, like, uh, fucking like gang bangs, which is just a one white <laughs> chick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, no. It was a blacked video. Oh my God. Oh, that's incredibly racist. And he was a part of it. Oh my God. <laughs> God damn it. Obama. If you want to hit us up, I'm down. <laughs> just, just tweet Come me. Come on the podcast. Uh, it's not going to be as fun as that blacked video, but... Oh my god. All right, guys. Um, I feel like we've reached the end of this topic, uh, so we're going to need a cross-dissolve transition oh instead of a page deal. Okay, so the new hotness about Caillou is somehow... I don't know how the fuck this happened, but if you look up Caillou, it says that Caillou's official height is 5 foot 11. Is that right? Yeah, it's like... So basically, Caillou is as tall as I am, which wait, is terrifying. Wait, like as a child? Yeah, like that's what Google says. What the fuck? I sent a made up characters wiki on Caillou. I'm going to read this verbatim and I'll tell you that I pretty much agree with it in entirety. <clears throat> Caillou is a whiny little French Canadian spoiled brat who is part of the Barney Bunch alongside what the fuck? Just like the rest of them, he has sec secret evil intentions. He sometimes be beating the crap out of Ernest Johnson and his henchman, Fatty Johnson or Algernon. I can't pronounce that. What the fuck? Can you? Yeah. Um, I'm done reading for now. <laughs> oh my God. If my man ain't as tall as Caillou, I don't want him. I think it's just a misunderstanding. I think what Google is trying to say is that if he grew up, he would be 5'11". That's, that's... The only thing that would but make how, sense. But how can you even predict that? A lot of your height comes from like how you grow up and like how well you eat. Like that's a lot of assumptions you need to make for that. That's fair, but the show can actually answer a lot of that because the sh I, I watched a lot of Caillou as a kid, so I'm about I'm about a school y'all motherfucking Caillou. Steven's, Steven's deep into that Caillou lore. Poor man. I was <laughs> not kidding, um, but Caillou is portrayed as a whiny little fucking brat. But on top of that, his parents made him eat super healthy. Like that was kind of like one of the lessons. But like, how much into the show? Did, how much did the show go on into his life? Like, who knows? Maybe his parents like, like did. I think the show ended before two thousand and eight. Who knows? Like, you know, maybe like the the market crisis might have fucked their family up. Who knows? Like, if they were able to eat just as well anymore. That is fair. Like the two thousand, the Great Recession of two thousand eight really must have fucked them up. Caillou would absolutely be addicted to heroin. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. Honestly, Could you afford heroin. Do you think people addicted to heroin worry about if they can afford it or not? Exactly. That is a fair point. You, I did. I don't think people that are addicted to heroin have much economic sense. Kai would be like ten years old, walking into a back alley, like, "Hey, Mister, what are you selling?" <laughs> and then he gets hooked for life. That's how it happened. I bet. No, he 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 thought he was being sold a comic, like of a heroine. <laughs> But like oh the dude God. just comes up, the dude just comes up to him with a fucking needle and just injects it straight into his big ass forehead, and then he's addicted. <laughs> he keeps injecting it there because that's what he thinks that you do. That's why his head's bald. No, this entire situation happened before he the show started. That's why the show like looks all weird. Like that's just how he sees. That's reality. his perspective. Yeah. Like it. Like that he, he was addicted to heroin. Confirmed. 
That would mean that his parents are the worst villains of all because they got their baby addicted to crack. No, it's heroin, not crack. Keep the drug consistent. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, you know the whole theory of how like, Caillou has cancer and everything? Yeah. So, he, he is just going through chemotherapy and for like to help treat the pain, they prescribe him like opioids and he got right. hooked on them. So, now that's why he's hooked on heroin. So Caillou's secretly a victim of the opioid crisis. Opium. So it's, uh, it's not his parents' fault. Like it's the doctors. Or is it even the doctors? Whose fault is with the opioids? Uh, I would say um, all the companies that produce that shit. Yeah. yeah, good point. So yeah, thanks America. Caillou's. Wait, hold on. Isn't he Canadian though? Yeah. Fuck, it's spreading. Speaking of ex-wives, did I tell y'all that one time I went on a date with a chick that was already with someone? No, you did really not. weird. Okay, so here, here, here's here, here's a solid meme for you. So this happened like two years ago, back whenever I was a fat fuck. Was? Fuck you. I don't have room to talk about that. Yeah, I was about to say. All right, so the purposes of privacy and all that, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her married because she's married right now. I'll tell you what I remember of this. I remember we were hanging out or something, and you were like, "So Nick, I just got got a chat on Snapchat from this girl." who, I mean, look at her, and I was like, damn, son. And you're like, yeah, I know. Uh, she was she was messaging me, like, basically totally saying that we could go out if I said the word. All I had to do is say the word, because she and uh, her boyfriend were going through a rough patch. Yeah. Pretty rough patch, right? Which, the rough patch is stupid, by the way. It was stupid? Yeah, I kind of figured. Did that go anywhere? Last I heard, you were like, yeah, I'm not going to touch that. Dude, I... Well, let me, let me exp- go on... So when you finish that, let me just say, I, I saw the Twitter page and I recognize that person. I have a story myself about her. Okay, cool. So I think our collective nickname for this person will be married. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. future divorce. So me, <laughs> so future uh, messaged me um, completely out of the blue. I think like she was responding to a story or something and then we started talking and then she goes, all right so like basically i'm going through a rough patch with my boyfriend if he doesn't visit me by november i'm going to break up with him you we are talking about future right (laughs) (laughs) sorry continue just just (laughs) sent a link in the chat that was yeah by the way anything that we automatically like all of a sudden laugh at we'll put in the description (sighs) future messages me and goes like oh you know if he doesn't because this dude's from fucking i don't remember where but this dude d- didn't live here until recently. He went to another school. Yeah, in another state. Anyways, so she was just like, oh, like, if he doesn't come back here, I'm going to be single. And if that were the case, would you be available? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, re- I remember. But the thing is, I didn't really know her that well. The only thing I remembered about her before then was that she called me cute and it made my day. Like, for, like, a solid day, because I was, like, fucking sad because of another breakup that I will not get into. Yeah, I mean, legit, Future, she's a chill girl, honestly. Yeah. From what I can recall, she actually was genuinely nice. Yeah, she was very creepy. Um, anyways, <laughs> but, uh, so I was just like, do you want to go like go out to eat or something that way i can talk to you get to know you better see if we're compatible we debated on some shit like trying to figure out where we wanted to go and we decided to go to buffalo wild wings so romantic i know right she i i get there like on time she's like 15 minutes late and she just walks in so she gets into a chair and just immediately as soon as she sits down something inside of my chest is just telling me to run she pulls like, out a gun. <laughs> she pulls out her penis. I, I totally get what you mean. When I said earlier that she seemed genuinely nice, I should amend that statement. She seemed like she could be genuinely nice, and she says genuinely nice things, but not innocently. Like a Mormon way. More so like a cl- like a like a Mormon that does a lot of anal and thinks it's a loophole. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly how I would... So, anywho, continuing on. So, we start chatting. um, Everything's fairly normal. Then she, like, the topic of her boyfriend comes up. Because I'm fully aware that she's taken. And if I'm being brutally honest, future number two, if you're listening to this, 
I had no intention of sleeping with your future ex-wife. All right. I no 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 intention. Okay. Are you still the same person? No, I was t- talking to her husband. Oh wait. Oh, so okay. So it's not the same person she was dating back then. Yeah. Okay, girls were like, okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a divorce if that was the case. I was just like, hey, you know, how about your 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 current boyfriend, right? Um, and she's just kind of like, oh, he's totally worried about me. He thinks that I'm gonna get like assaulted or something. I don't know what his problem is. You know what? Just to make sure that he knows that I'm safe, I'm gonna Facetime him because he knows you. <laughs> No. So I'm just sitting here like mortified, just, and I'm like, oh I have no! To, I have to, I have to uh, uh, just a thing. I'm just, I, I need to pee. I need to pee. What I should have done, what I actually did, oh my was God. stay my pussy ass no! there as she facetimes this dude. I literally can't stop shaking my head. This is such gamer oppression. She knew that your gamer instincts were like, I need to assault this woman. <laughs> but, Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but, <laughs> horrible alternate universe aside. Um, so she just FaceTimes him and gives me the phone. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, hi. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing, bucko? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She gave me the phone? <laughs> she gave me the phone. I talked to this man. I'm just sitting here like, you know, coming from someone who's been cheated on. I understand the anger. Um, I just, I gen, okay. I so did not he was have, angry. I, he, was, he, was, he was pissed. Like the look on his face, the look on his face basically said, I'm going to ride my boomer ass motorcycle right to your fucking location and stab you. And you want to know something? I don't blame him. I was the asshole in that situation. Yeah, Th- you that were clucking him. That w- <laughs> That's what was happening. Dude, you should have you should have been like, you. I don't know who you are, I don't know what's going on. I thought she was single. That's that's the problem. I do know who he is. And honestly, no, I regret this. I 110 per- I deserve every single thing that happened that night. Shaking my head. So what happened is Thotty Shoddy. Um <laughs> FaceTimed future number two just to show him that you were cucking him at a Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Interesting how your biggest regret is one of the biggest Chad moves you could have pulled. <laughs> <laughs> this shows you how much of a beta male Steven is. Fuck you. Anyways, back on topic. And you want to know what's the, the worst part of that entire altercation? That wasn't the weirdest thing that happened. Oh no. So after um, this guy basically just wants to murder me, um, she pulls up a video of something from her childhood. And the only thing I can remember is and like the weirdest motherfucking like animation style. Like, you you know, Max and Ruby. Oh, God, the name sounds vaguely familiar. It's like the, the, the weird fucking thing with the rabbits. Like it was like a book, and then it got turned into a show, and the show was like weirdly animated. I literally have better no idea example. What you're better about. example. Peppa Pig. Oh my god! In fifteen frames per second. Shell shaded. <laughs> I'm just imagining like Borderlands characters in the children's show. Jeez. Borderlands characters inside of Peppa Pig just oh murdering everybody for loot. Anyways, so yeah, that night didn't last very long. Um, I got the check as soon as possible after that. That's that's what fucking like got me to leave. Not the whole potential murder thing. Um, but yeah, in in hindsight, I know exactly why she did this. She played the naive game of oh, he's just concerned about me. Like that's bullshit. She used me as a, um, basically as a tool to make her boyfriend jealous. That way he would come over to visit her, right? Yep. That sounds right. Yeah, divorce is happening. Divorce is going to yep, happen. Yep, 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 yep. Future divorce. You know what? Um, you know what? You know what, you two? I wish y'all the happiest ma- marriage. And honestly, prove us wrong. To the, to, prove us wrong. To, to, to the guy? To the guy that I cucked that night? I am so, so genuinely sorry. I was sad and single and alone, and I made a lot of mistakes during that time period, and that was one of them. Wait, is still the same person? 
They're still dating? I mean, they're- Yeah, they're actually, no, they're actually getting married. Wait, wait, I, you said that word earlier. I saw you make that connection earlier and Steven was like, no, I was like, Holy oh. shit, they're gonna get divorced. They're gonna get divorced. <laughs> they're gonna get fucking divorced. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Guy, if you're hearing this and it's after the divorce, send me the papers. <laughs> So you can sign them, cuck him even more. <laughs> Whenever you ask that question, um, you cut out super bad. So I thought you were asking if future number one and future number two were the same people. And oh. I said no. What the fuck? They're either in the process of or they're already married. They're gonna get divorced. They're not, they're not gonna make it past five years, I'm telling you now. Five years? I'd be surprised if they make it past five fucking months. You don't think they're gonna have a kid though before they get the voice? Oh, I, no. I hope not. I hope for the sake of we the We don't kid. need those crazy genes spreading. No, I'm asking if you think it's gonna happen. Obviously, we don't want it to happen, but. If I said yes, I feel it would some way, I'd will it into existence, you know? You wanna you want know something? The thing is, like, me and a friend of mine were talking, and she was just happened to be in this in the situation. Um, my friend had a condom in his wallet because he was gonna go uh, get, get laid. She denounced him for that. Uh -oh. Do you want to know what that means? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a divorce child coming. I asked the question because I am certain that she would be the type of girl who would literally just from the moment that she could probably just wanted a child so that she could become a mother. I'm pretty sure she's talked about that. I honestly, maybe they don't think they could have a child because I'm pretty sure that guy's infertile from how much of a grip she has on his nuts. To be honest. And like, that's the thing though. I like, I, I get him to a very deep and personal level. Cause I've been there. I y'all know I will go into this in a future podcast because that's an entire podcast episode worth of me telling my story and then these two fucking roasting me for it. <laughs> we can title this, we can title it Steven's Legacy. It's titled Steven Doesn't Learn From His Mistakes. <laughs> Part one. I get him and honestly, I, to this day, I low-key feel guilty for what I did. Don't feel guilty, man. That dude's it an wasn't idiot. Your fault. You're, You're right idiot. though. You're right though. It's You're not that right, the dude's though. an idiot, it's that the girl is manipulative. Maybe the dude's being misled. See, the thing is, Steven went through the middle thing for that, and you know what he did? He broke up with her. Well, here's the thing. Not only did I break up with her eventually, eventually. but I also didn't marry her. And, and, and also, a lot of these tactics are used in abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to look at it under that light, we shouldn't really blame him because he's just being abused. Now, I'm going to go out and say this. I don't know their relationship. I don't know how she really is. I don't know her that well as a person. But she's not making a great case for herself. I'm gonna just say this. If like he, if he's in an abusive relationship and like shit's bad, I feel sorry for you, man. I'm sorry for what I said. Considering the fact that it might not be the case, I feel sorry now for what I said. My, my experience with her, it's probably pretty br brief and like nowhere near as long as yours. But I just distinctly remember like being in junior high and I was just eating lunch, I think by myself that day. Just eating. As usual. And it shut the fuck up. And so, like, she comes up to me. She sits right next to me, like, what the fuck is going on? And she's just, like, she just asks me. I was like, hey, do you want to go on a date? And do you know what my instinctual gut response was? What? I was like, is this a prank? And then I hear laughter coming from a few tables away. And then she's just giving me, like, a half smell, like, fuck. I was like, no, thank you. You want to know something, Louis? What? You dodged a fucking bullet. You could have been that man that got cooked that night. <laughs> it, it, it's sad, but at that point, my logic was like, okay, like, no one's actually gonna ask me out on a date. I mean, in general, when do guys even get asked out anyways, though? I mean, I technically got asked out. Yeah, my lollies. <laughs> I'm sorry. You. I'll stop going with that. I'll stop going with that. This was the year, I think it was, was it junior year or sophomore year, where I was in a class with, uh, I think the guy to girl ratio was one to one to five, one to six, uh, because that was the period where all the guys were in athletics class or whatever. And I was a little soy boy cunt. So I was <laughs> in marching band instead. From my experiences uh, from her in that class, like all year, she wasn't bad. She was a she was a nice person to talk to. She she seemed like a good friend. I will say this much that um, that was in a practically all girl environment and which is a very different environment from uh, 
I guess you would call it a co-ed class or whatever. I had a class with mostly girls and then I had a class with all guys. And the experience difference was, I, I only just realized that. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I bet not many people get to experience that. Unless they're in Catholic schools. Is that a thing? I, I yeah, actually know jack shit about Catholic schools. What, it, what, the, what is the deal with that anyway? All of the chicks in Catholic schools are either really weird, supremely horish, or some of the coolest people you ever meet. Or gay. Psh, no, they closet the fuck out of that shit. Are you kidding me? No, like, I've, I've seen a lot of stories on the internet. Like, a lot of people in Catholic schools like, yeah, no, I was really gay and I had to get out. That's fair. Because again, it's, but it's, since it's super frowned upon in the Catholic school environment. Did I just one day want to go to church and be like, hey, yo, I'm gay. See how Nobody they... will give a fuck. I the promise pens. you. The pets. I really want to find a place that I know will get a reaction. The Westboro Baptist Church. They will fucking lynch you. No, I just want someone to just splash holy water in my face. Are you allowed to go to confession if, even if you're not a Catholic? Uh, You can go, but the sacrament won't mean anything. And you have to lie about being Catholic, so I guess technically no. So you can just walk into a confession booth even though you're not Catholic? No, no, you go into the confession and just talk like you say you've done some horrible shit. Just lie about it. Yeah, so, like, I beat the fuck out of my child. I kicked him out the fucking window. I treated my son to some premium cock and ball torture. <laughs> and oh, I no. Ooh. <laughs> Trebuchet. Trebuchet what <laughs> Nick said. What? Trebuchet. What's funny about cock and ball torture? With your child. With your child. Treb yeah, what's if trebuchet? we're trebucheting my <laughs> shitty Apache helicopter joke, we're trebucheting. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay. Why's it got to be too far when I say it? When y'all say it, it's okay, but... Because you mentioned cock and ball torture. What's wrong? I was making a comparison. What's wrong with cock and ball torture? Oh What's my fucking mean? god. Hey, I look, I don't make those jokes, so don't look at me. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't talk about fucking molesting children, Stephen. You call me a child molester all the time. No, I'm just insinuating. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, there's a difference. There's, a, there's an actual difference bullshit. between... Bullshit. Bull... Motherfucking Is there shit. a difference between insinuating and like straight up saying it? One's just more essentially honest. Essentially now. What Steven said. One's just more honest, but there's essentially whatever. No let's let then let's just try to cut back a bit on those jokes then. Okay, whatever. I guess the audience will never know of my comedic genius, the incredible <laughs> joke that I just told. You're will fucking you deny stupid. You're getting kicked off the podcast. Will you deny that it was you're saying it wasn't funny. It, it wasn't was funny. funny at all. It was funny. Okay. I'll admit. Yeah, it was okay, funny. you know what? Fuck it. I'm keeping it in. It was funny. You yeah, you yeah. You can find the uncensored version of our on our Patreon. <laughs> Fuck. No, for real. If we ever get one, we should probably do that. What we'll do is we'll have like for our Patreon subscribers, we'll have the entire thing uncut. Look my dick. <laughs> and oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you you want to know something? Something you want to know something? What? So Evan actually saw your penis because of yeah, events. Yeah, I know. And he told me that you were uncircumcised. Let me tell you the scenario. We were eating breakfast. Right before going to a funeral for my friend. <laughs> and he told me that. Wait, that friend? That friend that got... Yeah, that one. In the, in the accident? Yep. Oh, he told you where that did, that breakfast was. Evan, uh, let me know what you thought of my dick. Did you think it looked good? Did you think Jesus it looked bad? Christ. Just let me know, because we never talked about it. He was just like, yeah, I've seen your dick now. Also, uh, Evan, I want measurements. Oh my god. Well, flaccid is completely different from solid. That's fair. I like how you guys are the straight ones in that group. And you're like, what's his dick size? Hey, what do you think of my dick, dude? Because you see, not only are we completely straight, but we're supremely comfortable with our sexuality. Why are y'all the ones asking for this shit? And I'm not. Because it's no big deal. We all have dicks. Wait, really? Oh, shit. No, 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 are no, you okay? no, no, no. It sounds like he just fucked something up. I ripped off all my beads on my bracelet. Oh, shit. I thought that was the sound of beads falling to the ground. All right, I have watched all of Game of Thrones. I'm planning on reading the books. If you want me to talk about it in the future, I mean, it'd literally just be, be ranting, but whatever. Speaking of me ranting, uh, how about we all rant about our future plans right now? Dude, that is a great idea. I really like that idea about us ranting about our future plans. Mr. Director, sir, how do you feel about the idea to rant about our future plans? I don't like how this is going. Can we start over? I'm kidding. Piss yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, okay. I've spent For real, 30 though, fucking minutes. I'm kidding. I can't fucking kidding. Okay. So, basically, so outside for outside the challenge, just personally, me and Nick, 
we're both planning on starting our own streams. Um, for me, I don't have an ETA yet. Still looking at probably like after I come back from a trip. But Nick, you? Uh, I'll, I'll say this much. Nothing's set in stone for me. I'm still just more or less entertaining the idea of maybe putting some, I don't know, either streams or recording of myself just fucking around playing video games. I don't know. I, I tried it before, like the test stream that Luis and I had. Uh, I had Luis as my faithful companion just fucking... It was just me literally playing Fallout. I don't know. I'd probably do variety stuff, just whatever I felt like doing. I plan on doing video essays on my channel specifically uh, dedicated to like weird unknown video games. I still have that in the works. Um, I have like the concept of doing video essays. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. So I'm ETA next month. Next month, I would say I'll start production. And hopefully the following I can do a full scale launch. Um, it's just mostly just me putting it off because I'm lazy <laughs> and I don't want to do it. But I know I have to do it. So for channel stuff right now, so I, we briefly touched this awkwardly on the vlog. But aside from sketches, vlogs, and of course, obviously the podcast, we're pl planning on, um, since Steven finally gave me permission to say this, we're planning on adding Let's Play sometime soon. Um, there's no time frame yet because like, but we're going to be upfront and honest about it. It's not our main focus right now. It's mostly just for like, I guess, practice for us too. And like, give us, you guys, some extra content as well. But that's in the works as well. Um, it'll probably come out after our first sketches and future vlogs. But probably next month will be when we'll be starting that. That being said, um, because Luis is going to Mexico for a little bit, content might be kind of sporadic, but once he comes back, we're going to shoot for something a lot more consistent and normal, and probably around that time is when the Let's Plays are going to start coming out. But again, we mostly want to stick with things like podcasts, uh, you know, they want to do streaming, I want to do my own thing, um, you know, vlogs, uh, sketches, things of that nature. So that's just something you're gonna, y'all gonna be looking forward to. You guys, any shit you guys want to plug? I have a SoundCloud. If you want to go and look at my stuff, please follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to be a funny hee hee ha ha man. Um, at Major Earth Sign on Twitter. Steven. Follow my YouTube channel and maybe I'll upload on it. <laughs> it's not. It's not a promise. Do this for me, guys. There's a YouTube channel that I'm gonna put in the description called Awesome Wicked Studios. That's my old YouTube channel. Oh my god. I want y'all to go on every single old video. I will make it public for one week after this podcast is released. I want y'all to go on every single one of those videos and roast the fuck out of me. The ads for our social media are uh, on the screen now and we have links in the description. And for your audio viewers, of audio listeners. Audio viewers, you look at the waveform. <laughs> yeah, I try not to decipher it. <laughs> now, our Twitter handle is costermongersd. Our Instagram is at costermongers underscore den. I run the Instagram. I shit post on it on occasion. I run the Twitter. I should be more active on it. They wanted me to make a Tumblr, but I told them, uh, are you kidding? What fucking year is it? Anyways, guys, uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, this is the Gossamonger's Den. I'm sorry you had to be subjected to this torture, and if you've made it this far, Nick will give you a kiss on the cheek. I should have said this at the start, but just watch this shit at, like, two times speed. You don't need to, you don't need to suffer through an hour of this. Do what I do. I watch every YouTube video faster than normal speed. I save time because time you is a premium. because you like tinny shitty audio. That's why. Hey, so you can go Steven. Fuck yourself. Hey, Steven. Nice glasses. Dip shit. <laughs> Next, Bye. the kind of guy that to drink coffee straight from the cup. Wait, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that? <laughs> what was that before? You know what?